It's the greatest invention since the napkin. It's the greatest invention since the napkin. It's the greatest invention since the napkin. Not too long ago, among spaghetti lovers, heart-rending scenes like these were common. Affected were people of all ages, in all walks of life. But then, science found a breakthrough. Uh-oh, spaghettios. I found this at Dollar Tree. I actually remember this when it happened in the 60s, and... Uh, I thought I would do a review. It's kind of strange, but I'm pretty sure that when I was a kid, I could not wait to try these. And uh, I used a commercial as the intro to this, and I'm going to play the whole commercial at the end of the video. But the funny thing about this is they, they uh, in an, from an advertising standpoint, they kind of created a problem. And then solved it by making this. Because in the commercial they show, oh, you it's just so hard to, you know, twirl spaghetti around a fork and then get it in your mouth. And they show little kids having trouble doing it, old people having trouble doing it. So they created this kind of, I don't know, not very believable problem. And then it's like, yes, now we have this problem solved. So... Here's the can. Here's the ingredients. This is, as far as I know, vegetarian. And uh, water, tomato puree, enriched pasta, oh, good old high fructose corn syrup, and then a bunch of other little things, less than 2%. Salt, enzyme modified cheddar cheese, a bunch of stuff in it, disodium phosphate, vegetable oil, modified enzyme, modified butter. Wow, that sounds good. Beta carotene for color, paprika extract, skim milk, natural flavoring. But anyway, here it is. And here it says Franco-American, which is what's on the commercial. But then here it says Campbell's. So maybe Campbell's bought Franco-American. But anyway... This is the intro to the SpaghettiO review. Now I'm going to stop this video and go heat some up and give it a try. Actually, I just opened it up, and this is what it looks like. Kind of like soup. But anyway, now I'm going to go warm it up. I heated it up. Here it is. Uh, the funny thing was, whenever I first uh, put it in the pan and warmed up, I sort of remembered the smell. It's this tomatoey smell. And uh, also, you know how it looked kind of soupy on top? I think it a lot of the SpaghettiO noodles just went to the bottom because it was actually a better mix of sauce and pasta. So here we go. I'm going to give it a try. Little SpaghettiOs. From the 60s. I mean, these aren't from the 60s, but that's when they came out. Well, they taste like SpaghettiOs. Kind of a very mild taste. Tastes like tomato. It's kind of sweet. It's actually pretty sweet, and uh, it's not bad. The SpaghettiOs themselves are very soft, and um, it's good. It's sort of um, a nostalgic taste, I guess. It's actually a little bit better than I thought it would be. Now, I did bring some cheese. I thought I'd try some with cheese and see if that makes it any better. So I put a little Parmesan cheese on. We'll try it that way. That's 
that does help. Mm hmm It's good that way. Well, I'm going to say my review of SpaghettiOs is that it's, well, you know, it's little round spaghetti in a can, but it's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Now, I don't think I had this very much back in the 60s because, you know, my mother cooked and made spaghetti, so we didn't have to buy a can of spaghetti, but... I don't know, it was one of those things, kind of a novelty, kind of something that was fun. So, I guess that's it, and I I like it. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and remember to watch at the end of the video the whole 60s commercial is on there, which is kind of silly and kind of fun to watch. So thanks for watching this review of SpaghettiOs. Spaghetti marches off. The measure of any age can be seen in the problems itself. Not too long ago, among spaghetti lovers, heart-rending scenes like these were common. Affected were people of all ages, in all walks of life. But then, science found a breakthrough. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Franco-American SpaghettiOs. The neat new spaghetti you can eat with a spoon. It's the greatest invention since the napkin. The neat new spaghetti you can eat with a spoon. Oh, oh, spaghettios. Eat round spaghetti that'll stay on your spoon. Oh, oh, oh spaghettios. Spaghettios come to the rescue three ways in tomato and cheese sauce. With 18, count them, 18 tasty little meatballs. And with little sliced francs. Why take chances? Be sure you have Franco American. Oh, oh.